Hey, what is up guys? My name is Edward Ornelas and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this really cool glitchy shake effect right in Premiere Pro. And before we get started, please go follow my social media account on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and of course, if you like this video, subscribe. All right, what's up guys? So right now we are in Premiere Pro. This is where we're going to be working, but mind you, this will work with any other kind of editing software that you have. Just apply the same principles and it should work. To start off, we want to duplicate this layer right here. In order to do that, we hold Alt, make sure you're holding it, click on this and just drag it right up. Just like that. Make sure throughout the whole time you're still holding Alt. So let me do that one more time. We click on it, we hold Alt, we drag it right up, make sure you're still holding Alt, you let go of the click and you let go of Alt. And there we go. Now, what we do is right click it, speed duration, reverse speed. And so now we have a reversed copy. Go over to effects, type in blur. I already have it typed in. Go over to directional blur. Go over to blur length and just increase the size of that. So it looks about right, right around there. 62. I don't actually want to apply this directly in front. So let's let's wait for a little bit, right around right around there. So let's cut this, press C to cut, click on that, and then just take this layer and delete it. So now we have this little little clip right here on top with the blur and reverse effect applied on it. Press the cut tool and actually start cutting little chunks of it. And so now we just delete every other clip, okay? And so now when we play it back, we should get the effect. Another way to get this cool shake effect is to take your clip, cut it, Go over to scale and position. First, we want to scale it up. We go over to position. Make sure we're going to toggle little timer, the animation. And then we go frame by frame. And we shake it down. Down to 580. Go up. Back to 540. 580. 540. So we repeat this process for about seven to ten frames. It should give us this really cool shake effect. So when we play all our full clip back, we'll get that effect. We're not done just yet. There's one more effect that I would like to present to you guys. So we're gonna take this last part of the clip and we're gonna duplicate it once more. We're going to go over to opacity, reduce it for a by about 50%. It's still blend into our original one, so let's actually take it and scale it right up. So now we have that kind of effect. And we'll do the same as we did to our first one. We'll just cut into chunks, every single frame, for about six to seven frames. We'll delete the rest of this, and just delete every other one. Once you're done, all that's left to do is to add some sound effects, add some music, and you're done. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, again, please go like and subscribe. And of course, like always, hope you guys enjoy this. Have a nice day.